Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. So today I wanna to show you guys how to make this cute little bat out of an envelope. So what you'll need is an envelope and I'll show you the different kinds of envelopes that, that'll work the best. So envelope, paintbrush. I have some just black paint, acrylic paint, glue, scissors, and probably like a piece of deli paper or something to put down so you can paint with. Okay, so just to start off here, I wanna show you guys. This is just a quick, fun little video. I was making um, some flips uh, for my uh, file folder flip journal like that. And I wanted to show you guys how to cut a V down in it so you don't, when you do sewing, you don't sew this shut. Like if you have uh, envelopes that are up high like this, if you sew around like that, you might show the pocket, sew the pocket shut. So I was showing everybody how to uh, just cut a V like that. And when I did that, I put this part over to the side and then looked at it and went later and went, that looks like a bat. <laughs> like, I think cause Halloween's getting, you know, come creeping up on us and I just looking at it going, I can make that into a bat. So I wanted to share this with you guys. So it was kind of a happy little accident that happened. Okay. So what I have here, and I want to show you different examples of envelopes. Okay. So this one works the best and it's this kind of envelope that is just higher and then it has the bump and then the bump like that. That one's going to work the best for you guys. This one, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's going to work too good. It's got too deep of a V. Uh, so I wouldn't suggest this one, that kind. This one, you don't have the bumps like this. This kind of gives you the wing shape like that which is really cool. So it's this kind of shaped of envelopes is my guess. If you guys find another envelope or found another way to do it, let me know, please comment down below. But these, this just happened to work out for me. So I'm just showing you guys, this is the envelope I used. Okay. And it's kind of, it's just like that. And what I did is I just took it. I folded it in half. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and scavenging through your envelopes to see what sizes you have and if this will work out. But yes, if you guys find a different kind of envelope, let me know. So I just see where the crease is and I'm gonna go to the corner here, just like this, as good as I can. And then I'm just gonna make a V shape. Oop, I just cut right to the line. Just like that. Okay. So just a V shape and cut right to your line that you folded in the middle. And then this is still good to use. I mean, it, it works great for uh, flip pockets or anything you want to use. So make sure to keep those. And this is the shape you get. So it was sitting over there and I'm like, man, <clears throat> excuse me. I was like, man, that really looks like I can make that into a bat. And... It works out perfect. So now I took my scissors and just did a little triangle here, triangle here, and a swoop there. So I'll show you. And you can just fold it in half like this too. Okay. And I'm just going on the other side of the hump here. Put this right there. And I'm just gonna do a triangle like that. Okay. And I'll show you what we use for those for. So the triangle, and then just try to even it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm sure bat wings are not perfect. Okay, and then, so what I'm doing is I wanna create a point. See the little, those are the triangle we just cut out right here, make sure you guys can see. That triangle we just cut out and then I wanna start with my next cut right there to kind of make a point and then swoop it. So 
So we did the triangle and then I'm going to start at the point right here and then I'm just going to kind of curve my scissors and it just, you know, just depends on how deep you want your curve. And you can fiddle file with it. Okay. And then there we go. We got our basic wing shape. So it's that easy. It's that easy and that fun. Okay. So we're getting there. Now, don't lose your little triangle pieces. Because I will show you what we're going to use those for. Let's get down our paper to paint on. You can see I've been painting. So put that down. Grab your little triangle pieces. Put those down. Okay. And then we'll get our paint here. And we're just going to paint it. So Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. It's uh, my birthday's three days before Halloween. So every year when I was little, I would be a witch <laughs> and uh, we'd, I'd have a Halloween birthday party. So I love Halloween. It's so much fun. I've always loved just uh, decorating and you know, do you want to, it just brings back, you know, childhood memories and it's just fun. It's a fun holiday and it works perfect for junk journaling. So it was meant to be. Okay. So you just paint it really good and then just go ahead and paint your little triangles. Okay. There we go. And for sake of time, I already have some made. So we'll put this to the side, let it dry, and voila. So I got one dry over here and I got, we got our little triangles, just like that. And then I'm just gonna take it, turn it upside down. Take my glue and just do a little dab in the back. And then just make sure to do the black paint facing out. And we're gonna put his little ears on. So we don't waste anything. So I just thought this was just the cutest, the cutest idea and I didn't wanna keep it to myself. So I thought it, I'd show you guys how to do this and you can incorporate these into your drunk journals so many different ways. I mean, you can even, you can add them, I mean, you can add them to an envelope flip, you know, you can put it like right here and have it, you know, glue it down and have it so it flips up or you can have it to the front here and, you know, just kind of, you could put it in the middle, you could put it on the side, you could stick these to belly bands, you could do it sideways on a belly band. Uh, you can even put these into a journal and use them as a corner pocket. I mean, I think that would work. Let's see. This doesn't really go with the theme. It's my rainbow journal, but here, an orange page. Say it's a little bit bigger. Like if you had a bigger journal, I wonder if it would. You know, if you can go like this and just kind of glue and then just have a little tuck. We'll go like this and have a, maybe like that. So if you glued it down like that and then had a little tuck space. I think that would be kind of cool. Just glue all down here and then you could tuck. Or if you had a bigger journal, you know, do like that or in the corner and have a little tuck space. So I think that would be fun. I mean, these are just great. You can have them, you know, different ways. You can have a back page like that and make them into little tucks. And it's so much fun. You could even fold it in half a little bit and have them so they're like 3D like that. So yeah, I would love to hear in the comments what you guys think of these and uh, yeah, please let me know. I love hearing from you guys and hit the like button. That helps me out so, so much. Um, yeah, I really appreciate all you guys for sure. But there is, I mean, you could even do a cover. You could stick them on the cover. 
like that and have like a Halloween cover for it. Maybe not on a rainbow journal, <laughs> but you know what I mean? So I think that would be really cool. And yeah, I mean, you can just incorporate it on envelopes, all kinds of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a quick pop in just to show you guys. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys to see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.